الله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله تعالى فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا وَبَثَّ مِنْهُمَا رِجَالًا كَثِيرًا وَنِسَاءً وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَاءَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَامِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَيْكُمْ رَقِيبًا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار. Today we will start with the last set of verses of Surah An-Naba. The last three verses of Surah An-Naba. Verses 38, 39, and 40, in which Allah describes and confirms the advent of the hour, the resurrection, the collection of people, holding people to account. Allah says, يَوْمَ يَقُومُ الرُّوحُ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ صَفًّا لَا يَتَكَلَّمُونَ لَا يَتَكَلَّمُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَذِنَ لَهُ الرَّحْمَنُ وَقَالَ صَوَابًا ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمُ الْحَقُّ فَمَنْ شَاءَ اتَّخَذَ إِلَى رَبِّهِ مَآبًا إِنَّا أَنذَرْنَاكُمْ عَذَابًا قَرِيبًا يَوْمَ يَنْظُرُ الْمَرْءُ مَا قَدَّمَتْ يَدَاهُ وَيَقُولُ الْكَافِرُ يَا لَيْتَنِي كُنْتُ تُرَابًا Which means the day that the spirit and the angels will stand in rows, they will not speak except for one whom the most merciful permits and he will say what is correct. That is the true certain day. So he who wills may make or take to his Lord a way of return. Indeed, we have warned you of a near punishment on the day when a man will observe what his hands have put forth and this believer will say, Oh, I wish that I were dust. In these concluding verses of the chapter 
Allah Azza wa Jal is depicting a great moment, a great scene that will undoubtedly take place. It is an address to the disbelievers and at the time, but there is no doubt that it is a warning to us. It is a warning that we should take heed, that we should wake up, that we should hold ourselves to account before we are held. It's a terrifying scene. Just by reciting the verses with no explanation, no commenting on the verses, it is enough. Are we ready for that moment? Is the question. The question that we should always remind ourselves with, are we ready for that day? In, in that distressing day, the Spirit will stand. And the Spirit here is referring to Archangel Jibreel alayhi salam. Jibreel, along with all the angels, will stand in rows, row after row. Their abundant number is unknown to us and is only known to Allah Azza wa Jal who created them. Their magnitude cannot be conceived by human brain. We mentioned in one of the sessions the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said I was permitted to describe one of the angels who carry the throne of Allah azza wa jal the distance between his earlobe and his shoulder is that of a traveling distance of 700 years. As for Jibreel, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I saw Jibreel and he had 600 wings. Ibn Mas'ud Radiallahu Anhu who narrated this narration said, the size of every wing covers what's between the east and the west. As in another narration, the Prophet ﷺ said, it blocks the horizon. The size with the rows and the numbers, I want us brothers and sisters to try to imagine that day that moment, that terrifying stance. Allah is saying, Angel Jibreel will stand. Along with all these angels, rows after rows of angels. يَوْمَ يَقُومُ الرُّوحُ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ صَفَّى They stand unable to utter a word, unable to speak, glorifying Allah and His might. In fear, and in glorification to their Lord, they speak not. 
though these are of the greatest and most honorable of the creation of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Allah described them saying they do what they are commanded and they do not disobey Allah Azza wa Jal in anything He commands them to do. They have no sins. They committed no disobedience. Yet, this is their stance. This is their situation. This is their position. They're speechless. Unable to speak. Not permitted to speak. They stand in submissiveness, humbleness, and humility before Allah. On that day, no one will have any authority. No one will have any power. No one will have the ability to speak. Unless, unless, and until Allah the Almighty gives permission, grants permission for whom He wills to speak. Shaykh al Uthaymeen rahmatullahi alayhi said, Neither the angels nor anybody else will have the ability to speak on that day. And then he quoted the saying of Allah Azza wa Jal in chapter Taha, verse 108. Allah says, that day, all voices will be still before the Most Merciful, so you will not hear except a whisper, i.e. of the footsteps. They will not be able to speak unless the Most Merciful permits them to speak. And when they do speak, they only utter what is correct. That that is upright. That that is true. And that that coincides with the pleasure and acceptance of Allah the Almighty. Can you imagine that stance, that situation? Everybody is silent. No one is able to speak. These weak human beings in that situation, seeing these magnificent creation of Allah Azza wa Jal in that humble position before Allah Azza wa Jal, If that was the stance and position, if that was the situation of such angels who committed no sin, what would be our stance? What would be our situation? What position would be ours on that day? Especially amongst us, those who have carried on their shoulders records after records of sin. Records of disobedience. Records of shortcomings. And they will be awaiting Allah. The just. To hold them to account and give them what they deserve. Allah 
Are we ready for that day? Are we ready for that moment? We need to work hard on ourselves, brothers and sisters, in preparation for that day and that moment. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to enable us to prepare, to enable us to maintain ourselves upon the right path, the path of the Fajr of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allahumma ameen. وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين